All right. Hey, everyone. I'm so excited for tonight's Zoom, you guys. I talked to Elvin a couple days ago, maybe a week ago, and I we were just like talking about different things. And I was like, I need you to be on one of my Zooms. I kind of gave her the, not, the option, but not really, because the moves that she has made in her business in the past couple months is insane. So I cannot wait for you guys to hear from her. If you want to just share, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you. If you just want to share a little bit about your story, kind of when you started, what your journey has been like, all the things, and then we'll continue on from there. I'll just ask you some questions. For sure. Sorry. I'm eating supper. We got home super late tonight. You're good. So excuse me for that. But yep. Hi, y'all. I'm Alden. I'm 24. I'm from Mississippi. I started the business in February of 2019 so I just had my two-year anniversary a month or two ago I can't even like keep up it doesn't feel like two years and it does all at the same time um but I joined with my friend Natalie and for probably the first well really the first year of my business I did absolutely nothing um like I joined with her in February and I had just graduated college in December and I was not teaching yet but I started covering a maternity a maternity leave for somebody in pro, like the end of February. And that was when I joined with her. And so like I, I did a little bit, but not a lot. And then summertime came around and I was like, okay, I can do this. And so that's when I started and I did make a little bit of money. And then in August of that year, I started my first full-time teaching position, teaching kindergarten. And it was just way more than I ever anticipated. And so I like, I totally stopped everything that I had started. And then during like that summer and that semester of teaching, me and my husband got engaged and I started grad school and he was about to start grad school. And so by Christmas, I was like, okay, our wedding is six months away. I'm not making a lot as a teacher. He's making nothing in grad school. And I was like, we need something. And so last year in January, that's when I got really, really serious about the business. I jumped onto Host to Post basically as soon as it was introduced last year. And I promoted to... Uh, Ruby in March or April last year and then Emerald and then Diamond in June of last year and then I started teaching during COVID and I had never finished my first full year and it was just kind of insane and so then my Diamond just kind of fell away. I had a lot of mental health issues. I started I developed anxiety throughout the school year because it's just been a lot trying to teach kindergarten during COVID and so yeah it's just been insane but then December hit and I kind of like got my mojo back I got into a routine I signed like 20 customers in December and it was like the most I had signed in a couple of months and somehow by the grace of God I ranked back to Emerald the December 31st and it was insane and then it's just been a skyrocket since then so it's kind of my story yeah, I love that. I love that our stories are kind of similar. Um, my first, well, mine was two years. My first two years in the business, I just was like, oh, I'm too busy for this. Like, I don't have time. It was just like a lot going on. And then I got to a point where I was like, well, I'm sick of being broke. So we're going to figure this out. Um, okay. So you had lost your diamond, which for those of you, if you're brand new, you're like, wait, you can lose a ring. Yes, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. Don't even give that two seconds of a thought. But you lost it. And then in December, you're like, okay, we're going to get my mojo back. You got it going. And then you've skyrocketed. So you took your account to double in February, right? And then your husband's. Mm -hmm. the yeah, double. I took my account. Did I go double in January? Yes, I went double in January and then okay. I took his account to double in March. So you went from maintaining Emerald and jumped all the way to double the next month. Mm -hmm. Craziness. Okay, so what shifted mentally from November when you were maintaining Ruby to January you went double? Was there like a specific thing that happened, a book you read or like what, walk us through that? Well, as I said, the school year has been insane. And right before Thanksgiving, I had an, my first ever like anxiety attack. Um, and I like cried all weekend. I was at home by myself. Cody was on a trip. And I just like, I was like, I cannot go back to school. I cannot go back to school. Um, and then that week I went and got anxiety medicine and all this stuff. And then my principal made the, made the decision to switch me from teaching in-person kindergarten to teaching virtual first grade. And so we switched that. And I had a little bit more time during the day. I got taken away from some of the kids who just were causing me a lot of anxiety, to be honest. Um, 
and I was able to start getting back on like all of our team Zooms and stuff like that and just hearing from people. And I kept hearing from Amy Spence, like you just have to push through the burn months. You just have to make it through December and then January, February is going to skyrocket. Because I don't think that I had ever been through like a real boom season like these last three months have been. So I just kept listening to them and I was like, I can do this. And I was like, and basically at that point in December, I I knew that like it works is going to be how I'm going to get out of teaching. And like that has been my motivating factor since then. I love that. It sometimes takes you getting to a point where you're like, I cannot stand my life. Not like, and that sounds super dramatic. And I know like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that bad, but like, you have to get to a point where you're like, I cannot stand my job. I cannot stand being broke. I cannot stand living on credit cards. And it, you have to get to that point so that you're like, I'm so mad at all of this so that I'm willing to do anything. Like, I don't even care at this point. But the other thing that I love that you said is you started getting on Zooms again. You started listening to people. You started plugging yourself back in because you guys, when your leaders say, hey, hop on a Zoom, it's not because we just are bored and think it'd be a fun thing to do. No, we get in on Zooms because it fuels your fire. It makes you excited. It motivates you and reminds you what you can really do with this business. How many of you put a one in the chat if you had like a rough day and then you get on a Zoom and you're like hyped up and you're like, I can go ambassador tomorrow. Like I got this because that's what Zooms do for you. Okay. So was there anything specifically like mental health wise, obviously I know you got yourself on anti-anxiety medication, which is huge. Um, but was there like a book you read podcast? Did you do journaling? Like, what do you do personal development, personal development wise that helps you? Yes. Um, in January I had, well, last year I had bought, I don't even remember when I bought it. I bought the live book by Sadie Robertson because I knew that she was going to be one of the speakers at conference and I had bought it and I had kind of started, I bought it over the summertime and I had kind of started it. Um, and I just, I like didn't really commit to it. Um, and then in January I started getting serious about my personal development because I knew that with wanting, like wanting to go diamond and wanting to go double that, like I needed to get serious about that. And so I started reading Sadie's book and I would read like 10 to 20 pages a day and then write in my little journal. It's in my backpack. I take it to school every day. Um, and I write like three things that I'm thankful for. And then I just like go through and I write affirmations like about my relationship with God and then just like business wise ones. Um, and then the podcast that I listen to that gets me like out of my funky headspace is Ashley Mayfield. She, if I listen to her probably once or twice a week when I'm like, and I'm having a pity party and I'm like, I just need Ashley to pump me up and she gets me out of any funk that I'm ever in. Yeah. You guys, here's what I want you to hear from that. She has, and I talk about this all the time. She has an escape route ready for when she gets into her funk, because you're always going to get into funk. So you're going to wake up one day and you're going to be like, why am I mad at the world? Like you're, you just will wake up in a bad mood. And you're like, mm -hmm. I hate everyone. And I hate everything right now. And you that's going to happen so you have to have like an escape route to get yourself out of there because you can't let yourself stay there so the book live by sadie robertson and then the ashley mayfield po podcast i love the podcast mm -hmm. i've never listened or read that book i've seen some people talk about it and it's i'm good. like we're just gonna do it so it's good and i listen to i listen to sadie's podcast a lot too she's got one and okay. she has just different people on that um her question, the podcast is based around is like, what's the best piece of advice you've ever been getting, okay. ever been given? And so it's just very interesting. And so I usually listen to that in the mornings when I'm getting dressed for school. Cool. I love that. I didn't know that. Um, so walk us through your average day because sometimes it's really hard for me to talk to our team because I'm like, I haven't had a full-time job in like almost three years now. So I'm like, I can't, I don't know. I can't imagine working nine to five again. So walk us through your day. And kind of how you still get your whole list done, even though you work full time. Mm -hmm. um, I try to get up by 545, but I really don't like mornings, but I'm trying to change that. I'm, I literally write down that I'm a morning person and I can jump out of bed and be excited for the mornings. My husband's laughing because he knows that it's a real trouble for me, but I try to get up by 545 and then I'm getting dressed, getting ready for school. Um, and I drive 30 minutes to school. So I have to leave my house at like 635. Um, and I get a post up before I leave the house. I put myself on the stories 
Um, I take the energy sticks on a daily basis and I put myself on stories taking my energy stick and then like a quote or something just so I'm on stories at least in the morning time because I can't post anything on there you know during the day from 7 30 to 3 basically um, so I do that and then I get to school and I virtually teach from 8 to eleven thirty to first graders but we take a break like we we like are on there for an hour and then we take a 10 minute break because I'm like them and I can't just sit there and stare at the computer and just keep being there for that long. So we get up and take a break and I go into my building at school. We're kind of like in our own little building and I have a bathroom down there in my honor. And so I like go into the bathroom and I take my phone in there and I'm in there for like basically eight of those 10 minutes for our break. And I send out messages when I'm doing that. So I usually get about 20, 25 minutes done during that time too. And I'm just messaging for host to post, catching up on messages from the night before, stuff like that. Um, and then, so I get done virtually teaching my whole group at 11.30 and then I eat lunch and then I get back on with like my small groups and stuff from 12.30 to usually like 1.15 or so. And then after that, after that, all the other groups who are at school, they're getting called out, they're going home and stuff. And then we usually have like faculty meetings and stuff at two. So I'll usually work a little bit between 1.15 to two. So that's kind of that is something that helped skyrocket my business is I found these little pockets of time at school where I could work because I'm not, I don't have children, children physically present with me. So there's a little bit more wiggle room like that, but I'm not like posting on Facebook myself. I'm getting host to post up and like getting messages out and stuff. Um, and then our school day ends at 310. I usually sit at school for like 20 to 30 minutes and get a post up after school um and put myself on stories like talking about my day something my kids said something that happened at school all that kind of stuff and then I come home I will say we get home at different times every day my husband's in grad school right now too so his school year's not as busy but his summertime's always very busy so um I will say so I get home we cook supper eat supper together and stuff and then if I have anything left I finish up my list then and usually get on a zoom every night and I mean I have been I've been sacrificing sacrificing a lot of time in the evenings to get my list done and then like done again because yeah. I have wanted it so bad. Okay. I want to okay. stop you because I love that. I love that. So here's two things that I want you guys to hear. Okay. That you can apply to anywhere you work, work full time. She found pockets of time throughout her, her day that she can get stuff done. Okay. Not hours, not 45 minutes. I'm talking, if you're t telling your boss, hey, I'm going to go pee, okay? As you're walking to the bathroom, send out host to post messages. As you're peeing, send out host to post messages. Like you can get up, if you get a system, you can get 20 to 30 messages out in a matter of like two minutes, like no joke. So Word that's- Board and boards are your best friend. Yes, seriously. So find those pockets of time. And instead of, y'all are on your phone anyways, instead of scrolling, be super intentional with it, Okay. And the second thing that she said that I love that you talked about this because some people hate this word, but it's so true is she sacrificed some time at night to get her list done and then do it again. Okay. Because here's the thing, when you want it bad enough, you will sacrifice your TV shows. You will sacrifice date nights or whatever. And the thing is, if you tell your husband, your par partner, your family, whoever, Hey, I'm doing this for this reason. So I'm going to be in my office more. You're going to see me on my phone more. I'm not going to be able to do as much with here. They're going to understand when you tell them why you're doing it. Right. So mm -hmm. take that time to sacrifice because you guys, we're not asking you to sacrifice your whole night for six years of your life. Y'all, we have like 90 days left of momentum. So you can start today. If you maintained Ruby in March, you could be double next month the way that Alden did it. And then two months later, have another account double. Okay. You have to decide today that you're going to take those pockets of time, run with them. And also you're going to sacrifice a little bit. It's not always going to be fun. It's not fun to tell your husband, hey, no, I can't play games with you tonight or I can't watch a movie with you tonight because I'm going to get on Zoom and get work done. But you know what is fun? Hey, babe, I got a $3,000 pay raise last month. So let's go do whatever the heck we want to do. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Okay. And that's like how I got, I mean, 
because he's been on board. He hasn't heard that I've done this, but we have been talking about getting him a new truck for the last, like, since we got married, basically. And we were like, maybe it'll happen next year. But then as I started to earn the bonuses, because his account was in the prime spot for me to earn a lot of bonuses, because the highest I had ever gotten his account was Ruby. So in in January, I went emerald and diamond on his account and then that pushed me to double so I earned literally all of the bonuses that I could in January and so then um last month and during March we got to buy his truck so yeah you guys so exciting so even though you might not like I remember Matthew and I we used to play an Xbox game together and we haven't played it in forever but we used to play it every night together and last year when I was working on taking his account double I was like babe sorry I can't like sit and play xbox I'm gonna be in the office like I'm getting stuff done that wasn't fun it was hard in that moment to say yeah no I'm not gonna do that but what was really fun was like babe we can tithe more than we used to make in a month or well not in a month in, in, in two weeks we can tithe more mm-hmm. in a month than we used to make in two weeks babe we, you can go invest however much you want to invest because Matthew's a, weird about investing it's he loves it but like those things are fun and you have to know your short-term sacrifices, what you're doing today, what you're saying no to today is so you can say yes to a heck of a lot more in the future. Okay. So you took your husband's account to diamond from, so from Ruby to diamond, and then again, to double a couple months later. So you obviously had new people working on the teams. So talk to us about how you help those new people catch the vision quick and start running and enrolling and promoting quickly. And that's something that I have improved on myself in the last three months. I've never been like, I have, I'm a mass LC enroller. I can enroll some customers out the wazoo. Um, I like last March, I enrolled like 45 the next month. It was like 55 and then 65. So like I've got the customer part down. It's been the DTs where I've always struggled. Um, but at the on December the 31st to January 1st, I enrolled eight new distributors from Host to Post and TikTok. Um, and I've got about four of them who are still around working right now. And then I did it again the next month. I enrolled like eight or nine new people. And then I did it again in March. I enrolled like eight or nine new people. And so far this month, I've only enrolled two. But normally my enrollments for DTs come at the very end of the month. So I'm just proud of myself for enrolling two at by the seventh um but and one of my girls on here misty she's in the comments she got started in february y'all and she is all she promoted to ruby last month but we are taking her to diamond this month and she's going to earn that ten thousand dollar bonus so i just try to get everybody doing post to post quick that is just that's what works yeah you guys it's it's not anything crazy and if, if misty if you want to add or i can even bring your video on if you're cool, cool with that or whatever but if there's anything you want to add about like what alden's done has to help you like get promoting quickly and get things going put it in the chat or you can just say like video me or whatever but so you said you went from struggling signing dts to signing like eight a month okay so you said mm-hmm. tiktok which we all have to like get over it like tiktok is terrifying all the time oh my god missy you are cracking me up you're good she's, she's like, I'm in the she bath. is she's like eight or nine on. weeks out from having her baby boy so oh my gosh <laughs> just type it <laughs> we, i don't i won't make your video go on um but so we all have to get over tiktok right okay so if you want to do tiktok great but you sign them through host to post so walk us through a little bit about that because i know there are some people on this zoom that are kind of in their head about signing distributors they're like i've never been a mass distributor enroller like i've never been one to sign a lot of people and it's so hard because for me it's i went through this like three years ago because i went from not signing distributors to being like well i gotta sign distributors and ever since then distributors have been pretty simple for me but i will tell you this before alden gets into kind of what she has been doing with host post you guys you're never going to be a mass distributor enroller until one month you are because you decided you were going to be. Okay. No one is born the day they join the business as a mass distributor enroller. Okay. They just one day get to a point where they're like, we're just going to sign a lot of distributors. I don't know where they're going to come from. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't even know how I'm going to train them, but we're going to figure it out. So it's just, don't feel like you have to be this, a certain rank or a certain type of person or whatever to mass enroll. 
it's just a mindset and just deciding to do it. So talk to us about how you enroll distributors through host to post. Um, well, Misty came from a host to post. I had a girl literally put up an opportunity host to post and I don't even, Misty, I don't even know if you commented on it. I do one where I put my phone number in it, like text info and she texted me. And I mean, I think we talked for like 20 or 30 minutes and she was signed up and ready to go. And now obviously not everybody is that easy. But in March, when we had the $20 codes come up, I signed, basically, I, I wound up signing 12 at the end of March, because I signed like three on the last day of the month, but I signed nine with the $20 codes. Um, and all of those came from people who had, literally all of those came from Facebook. It was people who had done a host to post for me. It was people who I had just randomly asked about doing the business with me. Um, and stuff like that and I still like even today I had a pity party for myself about signing DTs I was like I can't do it blah 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 um but like then I listened to some stuff I zoomed with um Allie Antonacci this afternoon and she was like you can do it you've been doing it you're fine I was like you're right I am and so like it's just something that I mean it's something you have to work through every single day like you just have to decide to ask the people like a lot of people are not going to come to you and ask they're just not yeah. And it, it really just comes down to it. You guys, like you just have to decide that you're going to sign a lot of people and then just like be willing to do all the things. So ask people who did host to post for you, put it to in the chat. If you consistently ask every single person who does host to post for you, if they want to join your team, I bet 99% of you will not be able to honestly type two. Alden and I can, but that's why we <laughs> sign six, seven, eight plus distributors a month. Okay, it's not because we're magical unicorns with a magical script. It's because we talk to a heck of a lot of people, right? And we get told no a lot and we get ignored a lot. We get blocked sometimes. Like it is what it is. Ooh, yeah. It happens. So, okay, so we talk to ask people who do host to post. Okay. We ask random people. Some people are afraid of that. Okay, here, let's do a different thing to make everyone interact. Put a three in the chat if this business has given you anything positive in any way, shape, or form. Friendships. Freedom, fun, hope, money, confidence, weight faith. loss, confidence. Yeah, grown your faith, whatever, right? Almost every single person, probably everyone, has gotten something. Mm -hmm. So why are you afraid to offer this business to someone? Because they're going to tell you you're scamming people? Okay, well, you've gotten a paycheck and you've gotten things from it. So it's not a scam. Okay, I'm going to read what Misty wrote because... She's in the bath. We're not going to make her show her boobies off the world. Um, so Missy said, I'm honestly still working on getting all my host to post down, but I'm working on it. When I do get them up, I always make sure to send them the message. Um, yay. Make sure you keep it up until the drawing because we verify once the winners are drawn. Thanks again for posting for me. I marked you down for the giveaway, but I have to ask, have you ever thought about working from social media like me? What you did for me is literally what I do daily. She said, I've gotten several distributors that way and always, always being consistent. People always message me out of the blue and say, hey, I've seen you posting about this. I'd like to order it. People are always watching, even if you don't get comments on all your posts. You guys, that is so true. Two things. One, what we just talked about. Ask everyone to join your team. What's the worst they're going to say? No. Okay. Well, then you're still in the same spot that you were before. And second, be super consistent. I had someone message me yesterday. She ordered uh, four or five products. I haven't talked to her since October of 2019. Mm -hmm. She messaged me and she goes, Hey, I'm ready to get that coffee now. What? I followed up with this girl like literally 11 times. I literally, y'all, don't listen. This, this might make you guys feel better. I had just unfriended her because I was like, Clearly, this girl is, there you go. Uh, she's, she doesn't want it. Then she messaged me, even though we weren't still friends. So don't be afraid of unfriending people. It's okay. So I love that. Okay. So last thing. Do you have any advice for someone who has been at Ruby or maybe they're like, they've been at Ruby, they're at distributor, they're kind of ready just for that jump. Like they're ready to just make that move where they're just like explode like you did. What advice do you have for them? You have to figure out what your why is. Um, last, last year, I kind of knew what my why was. Like I just wanted to make some extra money because we were getting married. Um, and it, and like, that was my why and it worked and I promoted and stuff, but then over the summer and like, when I started teaching, I lost my why. Like I didn't know, I was still like doing the tasks and doing my lists and stuff, but 
it it was kind of just more going through the motion of like oh I'm just I just have to get this done like I still signed customers um I wasn't really signing any DTs then um but then it finally it got to that point where I was like I just I don't want to teach like I just I want a break from it I need to do something different and my why has been so strong since then that I don't I will do anything it takes I hate TikTok y'all my TikToks get five views like hate it but uh, usually once a week I get one or two new applications from it so it's like I have to remind myself that even if five to a hundred people watch it that's a hundred new people who aren't on my Facebook that are watching it you know so you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable I love that sorry I was muted and then I realized <laughs> that I was muted I love that you guys you're never gonna promote if you're not willing to push yourself Okay. Like you're never just going to wake up one day and be like, Oh my God, I went double diamond. Like it just happened. I don't even know. That's not going to happen. It's going to take hard work. It's going to take days where you're crying because you're like, what the heck is going on? Can I even do this? It's going to take days where you push yourself to do things that you don't want to do. And honestly, the thing that you're avoiding is probably the thing that's keeping you from where you want to go. So for me, for the longest time, it was following up. I hated following up. Okay. Still, I'm not a fan of it, but I do it now consistently, but I hated it. I hated it. I was like, I'll just talk to someone new. Well, interesting enough, when I started following up with people, my customer enrollment skyrocketed. Okay. So the thing that you're avoiding is what you need to be doing. So just know that and know that there is nothing in Alden. Don't take offense to this. (laughs) There's nothing special about Alden that you guys don't have. Okay, like it's not like she's a magical unicorn with magical scripts, with magical everything and a magical team that everybody she signed works and every customer she signed was 300 BV. Like that's not what happened. She just decided that she was going to get it done. And she was- Y'all, I signed a girl. Sorry. No, you're good. Y'all, I signed a girl yesterday. We got started. She made a post last night. She started in host post this morning and basically like an hour after she put up the host post, she's like, I don't think this is for me. I don't, I'm not sure. And like, she hasn't talked to me since. And like, I cried about it, y'all. I sat in my classroom and I cried for about 10 minutes. And then I was like, okay, we're just going to move on to the next. Cause like, like Allie told me later this afternoon, she was like, it's a deck of cards and you've got to, you're going to find some duds before you find your aces. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to find some people that are like half in and half out. And you're like, okay, Mm -hmm. all right. And then you're going to find people that are like, oh, shoot, like, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So just know that don't let yourself get discouraged with one little thing that happens today, or one little thing that happened yesterday. Keep your mind and your eyes focused on where you're going and why you're going there. And you will be unstoppable. So many people will ask, like, I'm sure they ask you all than like I did. And people ask me all the time last year, like what I did that made us go from like, not great to like really good, really quick. I said, one, I got really sick of being broke. Put a four in the chat. If you're really sick of being broke or like not having enough money, right. Or like not being able to have the freedom to go do whatever you want. Right. I got really Mm -hmm. sick of it. I got really sick of having to go to TJ Maxx and be like, do I really need this $10 shirt? Do I really need it? Right? I got sick of it because I was like, I work hard. I should be able to get this. So I got sick of it. And then I got my butt in gear. I took every excuse off the table. I stopped letting myself off the hook every dang day because I was tired or because it was a long day or I didn't get good sleep or this happened or this happened or this happened. I stopped with all of that. I said, no, I'm going to get my list done every day, even though I don't feel like it. Because what I want is more important than what I want right now. Okay. So is there any last minute things that you want to share? Um, if you're not doing host to post, do host to post, y'all. It's the eighth day of the month, right? I have, I think, over 100 up already. I've averaged like 12 or 13 every single day. And a lot of them, the majority of them have been giveaway. Like I've been adding to my network like crazy. And I don't know if y'all were on that Zoom with Amy last night and where she was spitting straight fire. Just go watch it if you weren't. Um, but but like I have been, I've been talking to Amy a lot because her husband's account is in the same spot where I am. So we've just been talking a lot about things that we're doing and stuff. And 
she told me that like I was going to have to consistently enroll these DTs and keep new people in my network. But what she said last night about adding the new friends and then putting your face on your on your Facebook page, not just a colored background, a colored background, a colored background. I have been more intentional about that this week and like put pictures of me and me and my husband. And then yesterday I put up a hair post and I found two customers from my actual post. And I was like, thanks, Amy. Like, I mean, I don't have a problem signing customers, but it was nice that it came from my own post and it wasn't a host post. Yeah. You guys, your page is so, so, so important. So, if, like, so important. If you haven't watched the Zoom Amy did last night, she was in a mood, she, not in a bad mood, but she was like getting it. Like she was in your face. So if you need a Zoom that's in your face, go watch that one. But you guys, this is all a matter of a decision. One, how bad do you want it? Okay. That's an honest question. You need to ask yourself, am I willing to do more than I've ever done before? Am I willing to say no to things that I don't really want to say no to, but I'm going to anyways. Okay. How bad do you want it? Second, do you truly know what you're working for? Okay. That's the next thing. You have to figure that out. And last thing, go for it. Stop telling yourself it might be too far. Can I actually do that? I've never enrolled that much before. But this happened, but this happened, but this person stopped working, but this person stopped working, but this customer is mad or whatever, okay? You just have to go for it because here's the thing. Even if you do not hit your goal this month, you'll be a heck of a lot closer than if you never went for it at all, okay? Yep. Amen. So I hope you guys have an awesome night. We will see you next week. And this will be up on my YouTube tonight. Bye guys. Bye. Thank y'all.